Hi, uh, my name is Hai Tao Liu. Uh, I'm a chemistry professor at the University of Pittsburgh. I was trained as a physical chemist, uh, but my research style heavily focused on materials chemistry. Uh, there are two research directions in my lab right now. Uh, half of the group is working on DNA nanotechnology. Here, we take a lot of DNA strands, we design their sequence such that when we mix them, they combine together to create nanoscale objects. We're not using DNA as a geno genomic material, but rather we use them as a structural material. This is very exciting because this is a self-assembled material, yet we have the power to control the exact size and shape of those materials, down to 5 nanometer or even less. There's no other material can do that. We take those materials and we use them as template to do lithography to create structures on silicon wafer. And from there, we create nanoscale electronic devices, sensors, and many other interesting things. A future research direction uh, is to use those nanostructures to pattern large-scale objects, for example, car window, and we're hoping to create interesting surface effects, for example, superhydrophobicity, or even make the surface antibacteria, killing the bacteria on contact. The other half of my lab is working on carbon, uh, carbon chemistry, uh, specifically surface chemistry of carbon materials. And there, we made a very unexpected discovery uh, that a lot of surface properties of carbon materials has been terribly wrong. It turns out, when you bring carbon into air, they got quickly contaminated by the tiny amount of airborne hydrocarbon in air. And that tiny contamination dramatically changes the surface property. And this effect, surprisingly, has been overlooked in the 70 years of research before us. What we discovered is that if you can make carbon clean, you can make them a much better material. For example, we showed that you can uh, increase their surface energy, you can make carbon a much better electrode, and you can store much more energy into a carbon-based supercapacitor all by using clean carbon material instead of the conventional dirty carbon material. So we've been working on a lot of interesting uh, material problems, but we're taking a physical chemistry approach to tackle those problems. We're using a lot of analytical chemistry skills and techniques to understand and character char characterize our materials. So students in our lab is exposed to a wide range of chemistry techniques and philosophy. As to the kind of uh, students I'm looking for, um, we're looking for students uh, who are self-motivated and who are curious and passionate about the science they're working on. Thank you for your time, and please let me know if you have any questions. Shoot me an email or call me anytime. Thank you.